so my uncle recently got discharged from the hospital so how you feeling what what so bye la so so la okay <laughs> Welcome to the 10th vlog First vlog of September As I've said in my last vlog I was feeling sick So I'm still recovering But I was feeling rather bummed that I didn't get to swim this week So I decided that the next best thing is you know, To take a walk around the park and admire the nice beautiful scenery that this place can offer I would say that the 10th vlog would be somewhat of a milestone for me as I never expected to come this far I mean the purpose I started vlogging in the first place was to document my upcoming trips to the United States it was to somewhat properly document it and it's just for a keepsake for myself and my family and friends uh, but as I started, I've come to enjoy the editing and recording process. I'd say that I have two influences. One of them would be Casey Neistat, the famous vlogger from New York City, and Sujibi Muhammad, our very own uh, journalist, who, whom I grew up watching the, the daily news every single night. He, he turned into a vlogger. One thing's for sure when you vlog, right? You shouldn't be afraid to look ridiculous and care about what other people think of you. There's people right now in the park themselves, they're having a photo shoot. And they're not afraid to do it. They don't care what people think. I'm basically training myself to ignore everybody around me and not care what they think. It's uh, 11 15. I'm currently waiting for Za along Upper Thompson Road near the service station. Ah! Da sampai. We met up right. and as discussed previously, we will yeah. be vlogging yeah. about some of the haunted roads in Singapore. So our first destination will be Old Upper Thompson Road. Uh, so call haunted, ah. Uh, we will see what's gonna happen. Uh. We are going to go there and we are going to uh, talk lah uh, history uh. of the place and the eerie yeah. stories. Yeah. And uh, also my encounters. Hopefully uh. something happened to us. Uh. <laughs> we'll, no see, uh. we'll see, ah. We'll see, ah. Riding through Old Upper Thompson Road, we've arrived at the entrance to Upper Pierce um, Reservoir. It's a very nice place. If you are ever ever had a chance to go, go through here, go inside mm. to the end until Upper Pierce Reservoir. Mm. Unfortunately, the gate is only open from 6 a.m. until 7:30 p.m. Mm -hmm. So for the rest of the time, it's closed. Ah. Mm. Uh, I didn't know that during the convert, jadi one way. way so uh, I think uh, some time back already lah. Since 18 uh, June, you see. Uh, so as you can see, the hoarding on the right ah can only access this oh, this portion of Old Upper Thompson Road uh, uh, from, from Sembawang Road. Road to Upper Thompson Road. Dulu aku bilang kau, okay, aku akan berbual Melayu apa sahaja. It's easier aku for me. Express yourself. Express ah, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, Correct. there'll be subtitles ah, so don't worry. <laughs> Quite recently back lah, orang dah pasang lampu banyak. Dulu masa hmm. aku baru dapat lesen, hmm. aku start exploring the roads in Singapore kan. Hmm. Old Upper Thompson Road is one of my travelling aku dengan Izzat dua orang mm -hmm. atas Vespa aku pop 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 <laughs> kat sini dua orang je so aku boleh imagine uh, so uh. it used to be very dark tau and then apa mm. ni uh, only quite recently dia orang dah tambah lampu 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 kan so it's mm. quite brightly lit lah mm. uh, and then ada speed bumps along the way dulu tak ada speed bump selalu mm. aku 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 kadang aku seorang-seorang mm -hmm. aku buat apa tau jalan kat sini kan mm. aku buat macam konon-konon initial D <laughs> 
<laughs> dengan Vespa <laughs> uh, From what I know, this place right used to be there's the Malay Kampung down the road, Jalan Belang and Lorong Pelita. So the residents has since been resettled lah. But I think if you go inside the jungle, right? I read Remnant. somewhere there's still Remnant. some remnants of the former Kampung, like stone, like stone foundations. This road used to be a what racing track back yes. in the sixties lah. It yeah. was it was a racing track uh, hmm. for the Singapore Grand Prix. We way before F1. Hmm. Way, what? way, way. Way before our time ah. There were stories uh, of uh, racers who who actually died here because of mm. the the route, right? Some of the local racers they actually uh, practice in the middle of the night mm. without any lights, only guided by the moonlight. Imagine how so, dark it is, eh? So can you oh imagine? Gosh. No, no, no. Can you imagine how skillful are they <laughs> to be racing, to be practicing a race on a race track mm. in the middle of the night, only by moonlight now? And okay. Singapore GP is <laughs> and Marina Bay Circuit. They, they, they purposely simulate the sunlight, right? Uh. Using the lights, uh, which doesn't make sense, uh. So don't have a night race at all. Race in the day, lor. <laughs> uh, that's what I feel, uh. This this band is called the Devil's Band. The Devil's Band. It uh. is a. This is a hundred and eighty degrees turn. Mm. Devil's Band. Since uh, we are we are here at Ola Thompson Road with the purpose of uh, sharing with you, exploring. Uh, Riding through the so-called haunted roads, haunted roads, haunted roads. Yeah. There's so many stories about Ola Thompson Road, mm. right? That um, we do not know whether it's true or not. You know, until you, you yourself experience it. I myself didn't experience anything unusual mm. so far. Um, when I was working in Coffee Bean, manager aku Selin Selin Tong kan, mm. dia pernah ceritakan tau. Selalu aku lepas habis kerja aku akan balik dengan dia tau naik moto Vespa aku hmm. daripada Santek balik Sembawang this will be part of my route and route ah hmm. kan so kadang balik malam kan pukul 11 lebih kan aku jalan sini sengaja je saja je kan uh. nak explore sekali sampai ada satu hari tu uh. dia kata eh next time ah you don't bring me to oh apa town road lah why that day i take the taxi and then the uncle say he got third eye <laughs> And he say, uh, if you go at night, uh, you uh. see a lot of uh, spirit waving at you. Oh dear. Yeah, <laughs> we've also read some mm. some accounts of taxi drivers, mm. people standing by the road, flagging taxi. Belum pernah kena apa-apa. Nothing. Uh, so far, so I've got far, no experience here. And my... so far right now, we got no experience also right now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> thank God. Thank God that yeah. Alhamdulillah, I've never uh, yeah. experienced any. The mm. closest thing was when... Uh, aku dengan member aku ada orang ah hmm. kita orang jalan sini ah dia gemuk tau dia gempal ah. tau hmm. abi kau bayangkan aku dah bon- gemuk gempal gini <laughs> abi dengan dia gempal ah. naik Vespa hmm. my god <laughs> Vespa kau suffering sah nah, Vespa aku dah suffering <laughs> Kan kita dah sampai sini uh. After this devil's band uh-huh. Ada straight road tau Tiba-tiba dia cakap apa tau Apa dia? Zah pecut Zah pecut Kenapa dia suruh pecut? Tahu, aku, aku tak tahu macam Apa sah kau suruh aku pecut Zah? Aku dah pecut Aku dah perak Zah Aku dah tak berkah lagi Zah Kau dah gemuk uh, Dah sampai Apa ni? Our destination mm-hmm. Kedai-kedai kopi mm. Kita lepak lah Lepak minum Sekali dia kata mm. Eh kau tahu tak Kenapa aku suruh kau Pecut Perang. tadi? Uh. Asal? Tadi aku nampak kat pokok-pokok ada benda ikut kita tau Benda putih Sekali aku dengar, aku macam Aku dengar macam uh, Aku nampak, mungkin bulan kot Mana boleh jadi bulan Kalau bulan dia kat pokok-pokok terlindung kan ha. Ni jadi pokok-pokok-pokok dia ikut Sekali aku macam All the while aku tak nampak apa-apa tau Kau ha. aku je yang nampak Alamak. Terus aku macam Okay That's scary Shit <laughs> eh Aku, that's that's my that's the closest thing. But Alhamdulillah, so far I've never encountered anything unusual lah. Hmm. Okay, I think there's a few other encounters lah. But so far that's the that's the closest thing I've ever experienced lah. Quite interesting lah. Uh, not, eh? not in di- not directly. Not directly, but, but indirectly. indirectly yeah. We shall proceed further down the road lah. Very 
cross the full beat tau Riding uh, there Yeah, because macam, it's so narrow right Haa uh-uh. yeah. Last time it, Last time it, Macam very wide You feel macam Wah, I can relax tau Eh, bila dah When it's narrow You feel very close to full beat tau Macam Eh, rimas lah <laughs> Yeah, actually I feel that way also. I used to love riding this and then feeling feeling initial D. Chu Shan. Reliving the F1 legacy of the 60s. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then because the road is so narrow, right? There's this uh, called a psychological feeling that you know, Kosovovic. Uh, Kosovovic. So you tend to slow down more. Lah. Uh, yeah, quite true. Lah, eh? mm. Because kalau you mean this way, probably we have sped. Yes, but more, yes. Aku bukan rasa takut hantu tau. Aku uh. takut rasa terlanggar. <laughs> terlanggar holding tu. Betul. Nasib baik tak ada anjing. Hmm. Antara hantu dengan... Kalau tadi yang kita kat popol-popol tu, uh. kalau ada anjing, ada aku anjing. lagi takut. Aku dah cabut, so. sial. Uh. Hantu tak kisah. Hantu baca-baca. Ah, uh. uh, hilang eh. Uh. Anjing ke tak boleh lari. <laughs> To celebrate our 10th vlog, uh, we are having supper at this place called the Prata House along Upper Thompson Road. It's, uh, it's famously known for his uh, Murtabak Burger, which, I want, which I'm going to try later. This will be my second time now, makan sini. Oh, I've never eaten here before. Uh, umami 50 is what? Uh, it's uh, inside for luncheon meat, uh, chicken pork. Egg and milk and something. Oh, oh, nice. Umami 50 and salted egg from Prata, which one? Nice. <laughs> Everything now, you can't hear the chef. Uh, that's why you say nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Milo ice for me, always. Okay, that's it. Uh, anything else? Cash money, eh? Okay. okay, put together, come on. How much your payment? $20. Mm. Uh, so high tech, ah? Uh? Uh, all new technology. Okay, brother. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Ni kau punya murta burger. Ha. Ini aku punya umami 50. Tadi the chef tu kata apa? Umami 50. Um, He said everything is good. <laughs> oh my god. Trepid increase. Hmm. Guna Ramzi kan dia suka macam. Ah. <laughs> It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot, huh? Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. Kitchen I mess. Fantastic. I mean, the your flavor, the taste is nice, yeah. but mm. it's a bit too rich yeah. uh, for our liking. Yeah, we had fun uh, traveling, exploring at the old Upper Thompson Road. It wasn't as scary as it used to be. New riders, newbies who want to explore with their bike gangs for five bikes going through our uh, Upper Thompson Road. It wouldn't be so scary. Yeah. It wouldn't be so scary. Yeah, you know? it's best to explore by, by yourself. By yourself. <laughs> I did that. Again, uh. aku pernah saja. Aku seorang tengah stress. The best way to really stress for us bikers is to ride. To ride. Yes. We ride to relieve our stress. So okay lah, you know. Because I just want to leave out my my depressed thoughts. So I thought, mm. okay lah, maybe I just go through go up the Thompson Road, you know. I'm not scared because I'm depressed. In the end, I was it was like about 11 plus, almost 12 though. Mm. In the end, halfway through, I was like, what the. F- Okay. Uh-huh. Kalau aku tahu tadi aku tak jalan sini saja. Tak <laughs> jalan sini. Kau kira kan the mind dah lari ya? Eh? Uh, terus dah apa itu? Suddenly the, the eerie feeling, scared feeling kan macam come in tau macam. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> they was alone lah. They was back uh. then lah. They want to explore. Walaupun well, tuan serut by bicycle at night. <laughs> so, you really really want that scary feeling lah. Uh. Okay, that's all for today's vlog lah. Okay, alright. We'll see you all next time.